Hi, it's Professor Murray. I had a chance to look through your papers and I have some kind of common comments that really apply to everyone. I made a few notes and actually I made a PowerPoint based on the notes because I think this will apply to future classes too. Let's go through them a little bit. So here's some report writing guidelines. What's important in a report? It's structure, storytelling capability, and then finally technical content. Most people try to focus just on the technical content, but the problem is if you don't have good structure and you don't tell a good story, then there's no point in, in telling the technical content because no one will pay attention to your report. So let's take a look at these. The structure. You need to have a uniform look to your structure. All the fonts need to be the same. Everything should be justified so that it's square, square edges down both sides. Figures need to fit on the page. Don't turn figures sideways. If you can't fit it on the page, you need to go back and adjust your figure and then copy it again and put it back on the, on the report. But make sure they look good, they're centered, um, and they just look good. Next is you have to have proper titles with your figures. When it's a figure, the title goes below it, and it'll say something like figure one colon the, a graph of something. Let me go to my... So here's an example of a figure. And I've copied this from the internet, so it's not my work, and I have to give credit to who owns it. So down here I've got the title, Figure 1, capital F, and with a colon, and then I give it a title, Things Used in the Machine. Over here I've said what my source is for this figure. It's not my image, I didn't create it, so I can't just use it without giving credit. If I do, that's plagiarism. Lastly, you need to write in third person throughout your report, with the exception of the biography. That can be first person. Everything else should be third person. That's the structure. Make it look good. The first thing someone's going to do when they're deciding whether they should read your report, including your professors, is they're going to take a look at it and they're going to say to themselves, does this look professional? Does this look interesting? Did the writer put enough effort into this that it deserves my time to read it. So they're just going to take a high level look at it and kind of see what's in it, see what the sections are, see if it looks professional that they should read it, and if it doesn't look professional they're not going to read it. Okay, next is storytelling. You need to have an interesting story. If you don't tell an interesting story then people don't want to read it. So make your story interesting and guide the reader through your, through your report. For example, every section needs to have a little bit of front matter or introduction to each section to tell the reader what the section is all about. If you have a section on maintenance of the equipment, you start that section by telling the reader that this is a section on maintenance and tells the maintenance people what they need to know about maintaining the equipment, something like that. Make sure your headings make sense so that the reader can find the information that they're interested in. Next is paragraph structure. Every story, every paragraph, every report has a beginning, middle, and end. You have to introduce your topic or your thought or your thesis, whatever you want to call it, and then you have to give the information about it, and then you have to conclude it. You can't just, you know, leave it hanging or leave it open. Even a paragraph has to have a beginning, middle, and end. That means you can't do a paragraph with one or two sentences. You have to have at least three sentences to build a proper paragraph. And lastly, make it readable. Make sure there's no spelling mistakes, no grammar mistakes, that everything flows nicely. Make it readable. Okay, that's storytelling. And last is the technical content. That's the information that you're trying to convey. 
you can't do it if the other parts are missing because the reader's either going to get lost or they're not going to want to read your report or so in conclusion great information is not useful if you can't communicate it and you notice in my presentation I started with an introduction I told you the sections I'm going to talk about then I had my body I talked about each section and then I have my conclusion I told you that this is the the end of the story so you know that that concludes the information there's nothing more to tell so go back check your reports and make sure you address all these comments thanks